In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best ninja tools for every single class in Shinobi Striker. A lot of ninja tools in this game are only for one class, and some of them are literally for every single class. I'm gonna split this video into every single class, and then I'm gonna split it into items that are for different classes, not just one. So yeah, man, if you guys join the content, make sure you guys drop a like, and also subscribe, because we are super close to 8,000 subscribers. And also, man, before we get started, if you wanna know where to get a lot of these ninja tools, they are mostly from the 1010 shop, but some of them you get them just by playing your literal roles in the game so if you guys want to know a specific ninja tool and how to get it let me know down in the comments i will respond to you and yeah let's not say any more time let's get started with this video so you've retracted your shot and gun do you really take me that lightly see today on your ass and the coupe and i like going fast doing 180 on the dash i'm in that break smoking on that gas oh stop talking bitch i never asked you was a bum nigga that's a fact rest in my pocket feeling really bad the first class that we are going over is the attacker class. For the first ninja tool up on the list, we have the kunais for attack, which you do unlock right off the bat. You get it by literally just starting up the game and choosing attack. You don't gotta do anything to get it. You don't gotta summon or nothing. You just get kunais just by literally playing attack. If you watch Naruto, you know kunais, you just throw them. And yeah, you press the circle button, you throw them, and they do a good amount of damage. You get four kunais, so you have four chances to hit them, and they do regenerate fast. So I'm saying you will always usually have your kunais on deck. And yeah, kunais are very good to get your enemies away from you to do good amount of damage good chip damage and yeah you definitely want to use kunai's if you're just starting out do not use a smoke bomb or anything as an attacker kunai's are very good man you'll probably be using them for most of your shinobi tracker career the next ninja tool up on the list is the paper bomb kunai you get this from the 1010 shop from the weekly shop rotations and this is a very good ninja tool because it gets rid of stuff like susano armor some, uh, some other annoying stuff man so you definitely want to pick this up whenever you can like the kunai as before you only get one paper bomb kunai when you throw this kunai it will blow up on impact or if you land it on the enemy it will stick onto them so they will have a red effect on them meaning that they're gonna be affected by the paper bomb kunai and yeah like i said this paper bomb kunai is very good because you could counter stuff like susano armor which attackers do have a lot of counters for that but this is a very easy counter to that and it's also a very good kunai because the exploding impact does like 20 percent hp so i could do a lot of damage it could be very annoying for your enemies and you do get this kunai very fast so i have a lot you should definitely pick this kunai up and you should definitely try it out and it's also a very cool kunai as well now we move on to the range class but listen if you're an attacker there is still some stuff at the end of the video so make sure you be on the lookout for that now the first ninja tool for the range class is gonna be the send bones you get this from literally just starting out the game and let me tell you guys this has to be the best range ninja tool it's just that good man the send bones are basically kunais but for range and you only have three of them and they do a lot of damage again like i said with the kunais the send bones you can use them to get away from people you know get them away from you and do chip damage it's very good man you definitely need to use send bones if you are a range i think it's way better than demon wound shuriken those are the two that you start out with so i mean you definitely need to use send bones again like i said bro send bones to me are my go-to so you definitely want to trust my word for the final range ninja tool on here we have the crimson star you get from the tenton shop and yeah man let me tell you guys this is very amazing for creating combos one shot builds this ninja tool you need to have this one the crimson star is a demon wound shuriken that spins around and does at least 12 hits in the combo and while that is happening you could do some crazy stuff in between that as you can see by this combo right here i literally use the demon wound shuriken icicle swallow into majestic destroyer flame i'm trying to tell you guys this demon wound shuriken you can create some crazy combos bro and that's only one of like the basic ones man so let me tell you guys if you definitely want a crazy shuriken that is just insanely good and the best about it it is very fun everybody likes fun things man so this demon one shuriken i feel like it's a must-have if you're a range main because bro range is the best class and this shuriken just makes it way better that is it for the range mains now all my defender mains my defense mains i got you guys now for the first defense ninja tool i have the blast bombs you get this from playing 50 games of defense and this is a very good damaging ninja tool basically the blast bomb is a ninja tool that you throw and it does explosion damage and it does a pretty good amount of damage and it's aoe blast bombs are literally good for any single game mode mainly for base and flag though because you got these bombs that just explode and push your enemies far away if they block it even if they don't block it they will still get pushed far away because of the explosion effect and yeah man a lot of people are always asking me how to get blast bombs you get them from playing 50 games of defense and yeah you definitely want to use these blast bombs for your defense if you don't got meta ninja tools next up for the defense class we have the poisonous smoke bomb now this is also for the range class but i do like to use this one for our defense more because i can stun my enemies and do more combos and 
this also does poison over time so it's very good you know and i'm saying to stun your enemies and just do damage yeah like i said the poisonous smoke bomb is very good for continuing your combos you hit them with the smoke bomb and they will be in the stunned animation they will not be able to move and they'll be in a poisonous smoke area and that will give them poison over time which will damage them very slowly but you know you could do some stuff during that time they'll be disabled for like two to five seconds so you know you could charge up a jutsu hit them with a jutsu or you could combo them up while they're in there man so use this poison wisely and i recommend this for pits man it's very good and just honestly when you can land the one hit stun definitely throw this out there now we move on to the healer class and i'm gonna let you guys know right now i only have one ninja two for the healer class the only ninja two i have for the healer class is the healing cell type two now listen if you don't use a healing cell type Two and you're a healer in a 4v4 match get out of my game bro i don't know what you're doing man i don't know why you're not using a healing seal your point as a healer is to heal your team not to fully fight you need to also heal man so if you don't have this on bro please i don't know what you're doing this healing seal literally heals you that's literally all it does and it heals any allies that trap around you if you were in a 4v4 this healing seal has a good amount of range and you can heal your allies and yourself for around 30 to 40 percent of your hp that you are missing and yeah man literally as a healer you could literally just use this your entire healer career and you will be a goat at healer and shinobi striker uh look now we're moving on to ninja tools that are for mostly every class so man listen you definitely need to pick somebody's up this first one in particular you definitely need to pick up so yeah let's get right into that now for the first ninja tool that is for different classes this is the purple lightning this has to be one of the most versatile ninja tools of all time you gain super armor when you pop this and it does a lot of damage this could be used for a lot of different things like one shots just you know being a tank you know flag running for attackers you can use purple lightning to you know not get flinched it's very good man i definitely recommend recommend this for mainly attackers uh, ranges and probably defense i would say attackers and defense the most but ranges and healers you could use it but you know what i'm saying if that's if you're fighting bro i don't know man i would definitely not use this if i was a ranger or healer but yeah when you do pop the purple lining if you hit an enemy this will do 40 percent of their hp depending of the class they are playing and like i said this is a very good ninja 2 for base and flag battle mainly because in a flag battle you are going to pick up the flag as an attacker you have a purple lining bro they will not be able to hit you because you cannot flinch to attacks and for base battle you could just stay on the base with this purple lightning and again this is a lot of damage man so listen purple lightning is a definitely top five ninja tool if i'm being honest you guys definitely need to pick this up if you main attack or defense this is a must have i'm trying to tell you you create some crazy combos with that super armor bro and that damage that the lightning actually does next up on the list we have the cooling breeze and when i tell you guys this is the ultimate ninja tool for combos i'm being serious well if you want to continue combos and all that just you know be more annoying than you already are this is the perfect ninja tool for combos man i'm trying to tell you cooling breeze is definitely a pickup let me show you guys the cooling breeze is very good because you could do a whole entire combo when you do hit this cooling breeze after they fall out of your combo when they get up they will have to get stunned by that cooling breeze effect which could lead into a whole another combo of you doing it so literally you could create some crazy potential with this ninja tool and listen if you like to combo a lot you definitely need this ninja tool i'm not gonna lie to you it's very good the next ninja two up on the list is the flash medicine i use this a lot for attack and range this is one of my favorite ninja tools and this is a ninja tool you definitely need to pick up with this you're gonna recover your hp and increases your speed which you attack with and you also reduce your ninjutsu and sub cooldown time which is very broken i'm trying to tell you guys like i said this pill is very good because you recover hp and the main focus is that you will move faster with this tool your movement will be faster and when you rush your enemies you have the oberugurum effect from the shisui dlc and you will just strike at your enemies way faster which is very good and guys when i tell you this is one of my favorite pills actually it is my favorite i use this every time for attack i do not use oberugurum because i feel like there's no point i could run two jutsus and run this and have my cooldown reduced and have the hp HP and you know that attack speed in there so again like i said this is a pill recommended by ernie burns you definitely have fun with this pill now the next ninja two up on the list is a super tough medicine you get this only by being a defense or a healer this is from the 10, 10 shop with this you're gonna basically gain hp when you pop it and this will also increase your defense it will lower the recovery of ninjutsu cooldown time which is very useful 
This pill right here was low-key mid before it got buffed recently. The buff gave it the ninjutsu cooldown time reduction. And yeah, that made it compete with the Master of Medicine for defense. But let me tell you guys something, bro. That's going to be the final ninjutsu after this one. That's a little spoiler. But yeah, man, this ninjutsu is very good. If you don't have the Master of Medicine and you have this, this is definitely a good replacement. Also, same for this. If you don't have this one, the Master of Medicine is very good. But yeah, this pill is very good. Again, it recovers your HP, reduces your ninjutsu cooldown time. It raises your defense, and yeah, man, this is a very good pill. Finally, the last ninja two in the video, man. We finally made it to the end. We have the master of medicine. With this, when you pop it, you will have super armor. It recovers your HP. It removes all status elements, and it also increases your ninjutsu resistance. The master of medicine is very good because this will give you super armor. The only difference between this one and the super tough medicine is that this one does not give you the defense boost, or it doesn't reduce your ninjutsu cooldown time. This one gives you super armor and it recovers your HP and that's pretty much it man This is a very good ninja tool though because master medicine bro. They're not there are not that many healing jutsus There are healing jutsus in defense, but they're not that many pills or ninja tools I mean that heal you so having an extra healing in your pill is very good for defenses But you know this is for healer too. I don't think you need it for healer if I'm being honest you know healers already you know they're healers bro you know what i mean but yeah man this is the end of the video hope you guys learned something new please if you haven't make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe this video loki took a minute to make so please again if you made it this far comment down the number 50 drop a like and sub with your soul close to 9,000. we're actually not close but you know we just got 8k bro which is a blessing i appreciate you guys so much and yeah man we guys have a blessed night or day and i will see you guys in the next video man Peace. Hey, you can't hang if you ain't gang, yeah. I just want all of the cats, don't need the fame, yeah. Diamonds on me, now she wanna know my name, yeah. I was broke, I swear I had.